Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Jacob here, and then we'll be talking about Final Girls by Riley Sager. Um, this book follows Final Girls, uh, which if you're watching this channel, there's a good chance you know what those are. If you don't know what those are, a Final Girl is usually the person uh, or the woman that makes it to the end of a slasher movie. Think like Laurie Strode and Halloween. Um, you know, they're the final survivors. They've watched all their friends dead. Uh, they're usually pretty injured and have maybe quote unquote killed the masked or unmasked slasher that was running around hacking up uh, horny teenagers or college co-eds. Uh, kind of roll the dice on that. Um, so yeah, that's a final girl. This book does something I think is really interesting and ask kind of what does a final girl do after they've survived. I feel like there's a lot of books coming out about this now. This book has been out I think for several years now. I know Grady Hendrix has a new uh, new or book out that I need to read called Final Girl Support Group, which I think actually just got picked up to be made into a movie or a series. Um, I thought it was a movie. But I could be wrong about that. I Once maybe I read the book and review it, I will let you guys know for sure, or you can Google it and we'll probably find out way before I do. Uh, I'll read the back of this book. Uh, 10 years ago, college student Quincy Carpenter went out on vacation with five friends and came back alone. In an instant, she became a member of a club no one wants to belong to. A group of similar massacre survivors known in the press as the Final Girls. Lisa, who lost nine sorority sisters to a college dropout's knife. Sam, who went up against the sack man during her shift at the Nightlight Inn. And now Quincy, who ran bleeding through the woods to escape him. Despite the media's attempts, the girls never meet. Now Quincy is doing well, maybe even great, thanks to her Xanax prescription. She has a caring, almost fiancé Jeff, and a therapeutic presence in Coop the police officer who saved her life all those years ago. Her memory won't even allow her to recall the events of that night. The past is the past. That is until Lisa is found dead in her bathtub, wrists slit, and Sam appears on Quincy's doorstep, intent on making Quincy relive the past. And when new details about Lisa's death come to light, Quincy's life becomes a race against time as she tries to unravel Sam's truths from her lies and remember what really happened at Pine Cottage before what was started 10 years ago is finished. Um, so yeah, this book isn't, um, I don't want to say it's not a horror, but it's very much more like a psychological horror. Uh, there's not a lot of bodies being dropped in this book, so if you do pick it up thinking you're going to get into like this, this meaty like slasher novel, that really isn't the case in this. It does follow Quinn kind of reeling from the aftermath of surviving a slasher. One in which she can't remember. And it is really interesting. Uh, her memory lapses, especially as it goes throughout the book, and she lashes out with anger. And you do see that she does have some, I don't want to say anger issues, but definitely like frustration and, and not knowing where to put it. Um, so she lashes out. Uh, sometimes violently, uh, it does make you kind of start to wonder what Quinn's part to play in the Cabin Massacre actually was. Was she just the helpless final girl, or was her part more sinister? I'll let you guys read that and figure that out. Um, but I definitely found that a fun aspect of the book. It is also kind of a murder mystery in the sense that you're trying to figure out who Lisa's killer is, because... You, you figured out pretty quick that it's not really a slasher because a slasher doesn't kill one person and move on. A slasher keeps killing. And in this case, they only killed Lisa and are then uh, threatening to come after the other final girls. So more of like a serial killer in that regard than an actual um, slasher. But it is very much a psychological thriller and a mystery because you are trying to piece together what actually happened along with Quinn, who's trying to figure out what actually happened that night, um, especially when stories start to conflict, 
Uh, one thing I did really like about this book is I think it did a very good job. And I just realized I'm holding this in front of my face the whole time. I think it did like a really good job of going into Quinn's uh, PTSD over the matter. Because let's be honest, if you watch all of your friends get hacked to death, like something out of the new R.L. Stein uh, slasher series, R.L. Stein Fear Street series, which if you haven't seen on TV yet, or I mean not on TV, but on Netflix. But yeah, if you haven't seen the uh, Fear Street series on Netflix, I do highly recommend that. This book, I mean, it does do a deep dive and I think a very realistic deep dive into the psyche of someone that would survive something like that. And I think that is done really well. Uh, this is the first book I've read by Riley Sager. It uh, does have a, what I think is a pretty good um, uh, recommendation by Stephen King, who says, if you liked Gone Girl, you'll like this. Uh, confession time, I've never read Gone Girl. I've never seen the movie. I do know it is a psychological thriller. So, yeah, if you like Gone Girl, you will like this book. Um, according to Stephen King, I can't give that recommendation. I have never... I have... I am late to the Gone Girl train. I don't know if I will ever actually read it. My TBR is ridiculous. Maybe I will see the movie and then I can comment whether or not it is like Gone Girl. Uh, regardless, this book was a lot of fun. I do recommend, if you like psychological thrillers, to pick this up. If you're looking for a slasher book, I think you should pass on this. If you're looking for a slasher adjacent book, on the other hand, highly recommend. Um, but I, I have seen reviews where people have gotten into this book thinking it was going to be a straight up slasher and then got very upset that it wasn't. Uh, so yeah, don't do that. I'm giving you a heads up now. This is more of a psychological thriller than a slasher. But let me know in the comments below if you read this book, like this book, or want me to read something else completely. Um, and as always, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.